Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Railway Empire 2 to a very crucial um, or to a very pathetic uh, track section that we have still in this game and that is my first tracks right back in the days episode 1 when we created this um, we hadn't we haven't had the money for tunnels, right? And this is the result of that. Even the modern, modern locomotives are, well, snaggling around at four kilometers an hour here up the up the hill to get to Clark Station and then to New York, right? Of course, we're talking about the section here still between Albany or Albany and New York. And we need to we need to redo this, of course, um, but that's, that's simple, right? So we don't need to do around here that, that that much the problem still is that this is a very busy track right so there's always trains close by that are passing through there's also now a passenger passing through so we will just delete them with the tracks they will just respawn again at their original station let's go ahead and do the mess um the first thing is i need to get rid of this uh, resupply tower here and then we're going to get rid of uh, this 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 and with that also the tunnels we do get some money back from that hooray um, and now I can just basically place me those tunnels again, right? Um, and we don't even need to worry about money at this point. So we just build one giant tunnel all the way to this point here. We keep 1% um, slope, that's it, right? And max speed. And with that, yeah, we pay 700,000. That's laughable at this point. And we do get max speed now between that section here too. It's always been bothering me a while now. And now we can finally... Get rid of it now let's build the second one that only cost 116,000 then because we already built the tunnel we just need to expand it and then a third track station this is for the freighters between this section here right so i want to keep it simple and there you go um we already have a grid iron here i just need to make sure that we have the right directions again for the passengers for freight it doesn't matter in this section mm, and that's it right the, the passengers should still keep their old platform so we get buffalo new york city and let's just make sure that they still do albany you go with platform three that seems about right on your way to new york um new york then albany again right wait a second new york and then it goes to syracuse right away this is not right at all so after new york city to buffalo we start to syracuse to albany to New York and then back again to Albany and Syracuse. All right, so we want to keep this one, of course, complete. And that should actually be the trick. And then we just need to make sure that an Albany on its way to Syracuse, it uses then the right station, which here, the right platform, which in that case is platform one. And I think in Syracuse, it should be the same then, right? Yep. Number one. As we can see, there's no utilization on these platforms at the moment, meaning yeah, we are not blocking any, any anyone else. And on our way back to New York, uh, I can see that we're using the wrong one now. So Syracuse should actually be platform two, not one. Right? And in Albany, so it did change a few things as far as I can see. And in Albany, we're coming in here. Um, and of course, we want to use platform number four. No, number two. Number two is right. And on our way back to Syracuse, we're using platform number one. This is right. It's a bit complicated sometimes. No error message, hooray. And with that, those should be working again. It's going to take a while. I think they need to be redeployed now. Yeah, waiting to be deployed. And that's it, right? So we need to wait there a bit and then it should be fully working again. And I'm fully expecting now some beautiful high speed on that on that system here. So there's already the first trains coming now. Ah, passenger on the, on the way again as well. And there you go, a full 45 km an hour, these trains can now maintain and we no longer lose that much um, time here. And this should then also make sure that we do get the express status again uh, for my passenger lines. That's the important thing, right? It's going to take a while before this gets in effect, um, but once it is, it should be then activated once more. Perfect. So this is making sure that we deliver now the right amount of resources to New York because we still need that grain and corn. We can check out the train that we created in the last episode that starts in Robinson Rest right over here. Because I think there is a smaller surprise about this one. It's making us profit, right? The the, the train line that is delivering the, the corn and the grain, it's actually profitable. 
I mean, it's a very short one. And for now, right, we have a lot of stuff in the export. So it's always full, more or less. I could actually just get a second one in. We need the volume. We need it. Uh, let's, yeah, let's create a second one. Might be crazy, but we need that. And we are already bound with a full wagon size. So I cannot get more out there. I'm still feeling for my locomotive drivers, by the way. No weather protection. I can't do anything about that. I would love to do some researching. However, we are bound by the age at this point, by the year. So we still need to wait five years before we can actually go into weather protection. <laughs> Sorry, pals. I can use the innovation points that we have on a few things that, yeah, we can use to make things a bit easier for us. Mm, for example, increase this amount of packages in all cities. It's actually is pretty cool. So more mail transportation. We can also then have a mail car here. Uh, that might be something. Uh, increases maximum speed. We have that already. I think we have all of them here. Yep. There's really not that much innovation anymore that we can push. And all allows all rail lines to use a caboose, increasing the efficiency of all employees. Sounds like a waste to me. Why should I use a, a special car for that? Let's go ahead and have just this one here. And then also reduces the cost of all services. Why not? All right, there's the grain. Look at that and the corn. Nothing bound for New York at the moment. I'm just hoping that we do get also something bound for New York there. All for Albany and Syracuse. In Albany, we do have a warehouse, right? And yeah, we do need to get grain and corn here too. Because of course, it might get stored then in here. And the surplus we can then deliver. For now, nothing is bound for New York, though. I'm pleased to report that at least in Washington, we have the dairy products full now and also the clothing from New York, right? So this line here is working really well and Washington continues to grow, actually being our first tier six city. Um, at the moment, at a steady pace, up to 100,000 it goes at the moment. So it's still going to take a while, right? Because it's, it's only growing gradually. But we're getting there, and then we can finally also get us a few city buildings in. Philly is growing as well. Perfect. Getting all the resources. I mean, there's a lot of trains on this on this line here. I might actually consider adding more. We only have two freighters there at the moment. Let's add a third one for the main line. And for the passengers, let's also use a third passenger train on this. It should work, right? It could also lead to congestion, but I don't think so. I think this is actually working really well at the moment. There's also New York Philadelphia deployment. Yep, that's the new one. And yeah, New York station is really busy at this point. There's basically always a train coming in and out at the moment. There's the new freighter bound for Washington. And there's also a freighter coming in with passengers as well from Malone station. All right. But yeah, New York, busy bee, and growing also to tier 5 at the moment. And once the, the grain and the corn comes in, which I'm working on, we should actually be able to grow this one to a tier 6 one as well. At least a stable supply of vegetables and milk is already provided. Yeah, but nothing else. And with all of the optimization, we are uh, pushing at 300,000 per week right now. Uh, dropping there again, but it was at 3.4. And yeah, well, uh, we're just waiting until all of this is working. Meanwhile, over here in Washington, as we can see, we have reached a cap. So we have reached 100,000. And the city cannot continue to grow now without a university service building. So we need to add now buildings ourselves. We actually need to pay for city development. Very interesting. We're a train company. Why should I pay for that? But okay. That's just how it goes, and we need to provide that. Let's go ahead and build us a city building, and we do have a bunch of them available. The library we have, and this can be constructed with cities over uh, 50,000 citizens, increases the citizen happiness, and increases the city fulfillment of demand by 10%. I think I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and add the library in here. By the way, those roads are aesthetic, so I cannot build this it doesn't snap to a road, right? So if I build it somewhere here now in the center, 
The city will then just adjust itself around that. There you go. For a nice library. And museum. I don't need that for now. And there we have it. University. This is required for cities with more than 100,000 uh, citizens. The creator of the university will have to cover weekly costs for scholarships, depending on the size of the city. And it also cost me... Um, uh, 323,000. So yeah, let's get this um, a bit closer to my train station there. Makes sense, right? So having this a bit central here in the center of, of Washington. Hmm. All right, I just hope that there's still something coming along then, right? Uh, it does cost me 2,200 per week. That's fine. And this will allow the city now to grow beyond 100,000. Um... Founded in 1835, very good. Nice details that we just overall have there. And now the city can grow again. We will need to do this for all the cities that we want to grow higher, right? So New York will be next in line, I guess. And hooray for the first time as well. Corn for New York City and grain for New York City on these trains. So the demand in Albany has been fully met and now the surplus gets further shipped to New York. Even though, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see how this turns out. The two trains are very busy still getting all that over there because these farms here are producing quite a lot. And I was contemplating about buying one of these businesses. Let's actually buy it, right? This grain farm here for 200000 It opens up an auction, but I don't think that any of my competitors would purchase that. Nope. There you go. And with that, we can actually make a profit now out of this business here by utilizing it, right? So right now we have 100% train usage. Um, we are... Still not exporting as much as this would produce and um, we're still making a profit out of that. It's a level 3 um, farm now that we have here. Idyllic. And it's producing us um, the grain acquisition cost, profit per week 7,700. So we can actually push our profits with that. I would like to purchase that Robinson farmstead there as well. That's really expensive. But we also have a nice utilization on this. Hold on, I'm coming. There you go. It's not making a profit at the moment, so we need to we need to export more. I might consider adding another third train to this, right? Because both of them, there's just so much stuff that needs to get over there. Let's actually add a third train. Yeah, a third freighter going over to Syracuse. And in this warehouse here, there's also not that much piling up, right? So we have five freight freighters now on the line between Syracuse and New York. So there's a huge demand for it, and we can also transport a huge volume of it now. But yeah, we're a business owner as well, not only a train owner anymore. And of course, with that, we need to make sure that we do make a profit out of these, right? So, I mean, even if it does cost me a bit, um, it's still fun to have those businesses. But of course, it's now very important that we export as much as possible. And with that, let's also make sure that we are not having to wait here that all that long. I mean... Three trains now. We might actually need to open up another platform. Just crazy how much volume you actually need to transport here, right? But it's going out. Yeah, and then we're making still a nice profit here with that. And ah, there it is. Also an, uh, a profit now of the Robinson Farms. That's quite a lot too, by the way. Um, we just need to export more, more and more and more. So let's go ahead and add another platform to this system. Never thought I would actually need to do this, but it's interesting. Of course, a bigger grid iron is then required as well. There you go. This gets over to Syracuse. And here we will also need to split this up once more into another platform for Syracuse. Let's just hope we can do this. Ah, there's a supply tower once again. But it's possible. Very good. And with that, let's have a look at that line there again. And Robinson, Syracuse, you can use actually now platform number, what was it here? Yeah, the late, the last ones, right? So, 
seven and six. Oh, we cannot use both platforms. Can I not use both platforms? I cannot do this. Then don't use any platform at all. No specialization, so it can just use any platform that it needs, right? And in Robinson Resto, this could lead to problems, so I don't want one to block the passengers passing through here, so let's just hope that this works, actually. We'll just see. But we need to get more stuff over. The volume is high, and it needs to be higher still. Yeah, I think I need to create a second train line here. Yep. If I want this to work. Let's just wait it out. Okay, you know what? There is actually a new idea that comes to my crazy, twisted mind. Let's actually reduce the amount of trains on this on this first line here by a two, to two again. But we are going to say in Robinson Rest, stick to platform three and focus on grain. So we are going to put the priority away from corn, ignore corn completely and get this one over to Syracuse to platform... Uh, yeah, let's make plat the middle the one the, here six, right? And you unload it there. Perfect. And then we create a second train line here now. So this is interesting and hope this works. In Robinson Rest, going to Syracuse. You're going to use in Syracuse, of course, platform number seven. And in Robinson Rest, you're going to take me platform number four. So the, oops, the highest one here. And you are going to focus on corn and you completely ignore grain. Right, so we want to specialize that in order to get some juicy stuff over there. And we're also going to use two trains on that. So this, this is it. <laughs> oh, I just hope so. We'll just see how this goes. Uh, this is now my corn. Docking here now and only loading corn, right? And with that, we can increase the volume per product. And that is my goal here. And then we have the other line here now that is specializing on grain. However, what I can see is... No, we are using the right platform. It should actually not cause this problem that we see here right now. Perhaps that's new because of the deployment now. But I certainly don't want to have a traffic jam here for my express. So we'll just see. Or to be honest, I could just have four tracks for this little section there. That would be fine. Alright, and here it's now only loading the grain, right? So I hope that we can increase the volume for New York with that too. And of course, also at the same time, increase the volume of products that we export out of my businesses. And as we can see, there's now a lot of corn also bound for New York. With the specialization comes a good result. We are making a lot of profit right now. 15,000 out of the corn plantation here, for example, as the volume for export is just very high. And what I can also notice is when I look through that, there's also now grain, for example, for a way more distant cities like Boston. So it's getting from Robinson West all the way up here to Boston. Of course, this is a bit, um, a bit unnecessary because I think in Boston... Ah, no, actually, we don't have any grain close by right there's only smith rest here still um but that's about it by the way we do have something a bonus for a new industry if we implement a new industry here we do get a bonus of three hundred thousand out of that i wonder what new industry we could actually use for boston so liquor comes to mind because we have the fruits in norris rest and we got the sugar in lee train station We're producing liquor here yeah that is something that new york needs that is something that yeah, Philadelphia needs and Albany also needs. So we could transport it to New York and get it then over to Albany and Syracuse. That might be an option, right? Because we got the, the raw materials close by. But importantly, we already produce liquor. So this is, once again, a bit... Yeah, would make that much sense then, right? Actually, it makes more sense than in Portland because here we got the direct fruit trader coming in. And that's required. Hmm. I think we could do this, yeah. Should we have a? Uh, should we start with the liquor production? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. I like me to have some businesses now. A distillery, consuming those goods now, and of course we need to get that over. Then I think the sugar. What kind of line do we have that gets the sugar over? I'm pretty sure that we are not fully utilizing this. No, we are not, right? So Lee Farm is a bit underutilized at the moment. Um, of course we got lots of. Traders here too on this line, I think. Or not. 
There is a bit of sugar for Portland. But I think this one, is it stopping at the lead train station? It is on its way to Portland, on its way to Boston. This is freight. It should only go with freight, please. Yeah. It's a bound for Boston where we do need the sugar now. And then we have the liquor that we can then transport to other cities, right? So fruit is coming in here and sugar. We can store that and then we can process that. And by the way, there's also Malone Station here with the sugar too. So there's two sugar inputs. Totally forgot that. Oh, and New York has also grown to tier 5 city now. Very good. And it's actually continuing to grow right away to 100,000 now. That's because corn and grain is finally also being utilized. So we grow New York also to the highest uh, tier then as well, together with uh, Washington. That is still on its way to grow. 120,000 it is already. Very good. And with that, we continue in the next episode. Stay tuned.